sorry for the mess here. Like a lot of people, Miles Amarelli has a pile of junk in his garage, but he's not waiting to clean it out. He's waiting for inspiration. I love stove parts. This fun wash drum would be neat as a disco lamp. There's sometimes when I put things in this pile, um, I can't figure out at all what I'm gonna do with it. And then one day I'll trip over it, and I'll have to move it. And when I move it, it goes to a different position. And when I visual that, it totally changes the whole perspective of the piece. Miles is an artist, working primarily with recycled metal. Um, it's amazing what you can do with this stuff. He can make something as robust and muscular as a shotgun made out of Harley parts. Exhaust pipes, clutch handle, and a camshaft. Or as whimsical as a lily pad lamp with frogs made out of silverware. These are spoons and forks, and these are spoons and forks. After an idea grabs his attention, Miles can think of nothing else. To me, it looked like a dragonfly body. So then I started to think about that for weeks. I'd find myself, you know, in the silverware aisle. So finally, I seen these uh, whisks. These are just fun spoons welded together. Six spoon handles. We'll just get this zapped on there quick. There's your fabulous dragonfly. As it evolves, I get more excited. And then when it's finished, I can't even get stuff done. I just pace around and look at it from different angles, <laughs> you know. And this is a steam motorcycle or a steampunk antique motorcycle. And Miles uses recycled materials because it's a lot cheaper than buying new, but also for the challenge. To take something that's pre-existing and uh, distort it and contour it into something that you wanted is an extreme challenge. He loves telling the backstory to his art, like in this Japanese restaurant he decorated with a 30-foot squid over the bar. This is made out of 18-gauge steel that was made from old uh, refrigerator panels, washing machine panels, and all those suction cups are old fence post caps. These here are jellyfish. This is made out of old milk bulk tanks. And the stainless steel, I would shred off of it, cut it, contort it, twist it. It's having an item being discarded and bringing new life into it. But Miles' greatest recycling project may be Miles. I have no education, quit school at a young age, went down the wrong path. So I had all these self-esteem problems that I just never thought I was worthy to society. You know, when I'm 26 years old and I find myself sleeping in the front seat of a 87 gutless, it taught me that the only person that's gonna make change in my life is myself. Miles returned to his family and his brother taught him how to weld in an old repair shop. And there was times when it was so cold in that shop and we had no heat in there. I was freezing my butt off. So what I did was I'd take scrap off the piles around me and to stay warm for an hour, I'd just weld things together. Well, after a couple of weeks of doing that, the farmers who would come in for the repairs on their stuff would see that stuff and buy it. Along the way, Miles taught himself everything he needed to know about welding, physics, and design. I don't know how I did this. I've never had the education to be able to do this. So where it comes from has to be just straight out passion. I can work 18 hour days, seven days a week, which I've been doing for 15, 16 years and I don't even, I don't even realize that I'm working. We're gonna give it a attempt. I feel like I'm Rain Man, because I'm so focused that I don't focus on checking the mailbox. You know, food, gas in my car. You wouldn't believe how many times a month I could run out of gas. I hear eccentric a lot and, and weird and uh, passionate. Now, Miles wants to focus on giving back. I want to design and build beautiful things. 
And when I felt that I actually had something to give back that people wanted, it just exploded a new angle in my life. I mean, I feel reborn.